Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Varric site and why it's still quite good. This is a topic that showed up on stream the other day, and I was shocked to see the amount of misinformation out there. I'll let you know that the Varric is still actually quite a good site, and it reduces recoil by quite a bit, though it was nerfed and it is not as strong as it used to be. We'll get into the nuts and bolts of this later, but the first thing I wanted to do is prove it to you. This is a regular FFAR, it's one of the highest recoil assault rifles in the game, and you can see it kicks quite a lot. However, with the Varric sight, you'll notice that there is a huge recoil reduction. Now, this is not me trying to recoil, rec uh, control recoil, this is me just going full auto, holding it down, and my finger completely off the thumbstick, and you will see that there is a massive difference with and without Varric sight. However, the sight has been patched to be very weapon specific, so on some weapons it helps much more, and on other weapons it is much less useful, such as the Vesper here, you'll notice that the regular Vesper has a crazy recoil pattern to say the least. However, the Vesper with the Varric sight is still quite bad. It's not as significant as it was on the FFAR. It's not as bad as the original, but I'd be hard pressed to say that there's a super awesome difference or it's going to be super clear and obvious which one is better. Now that's the proof of what I was talking about and you're probably going to say, well Drifter, why didn't you go over this a month ago when the patch came out? That's because I was I was traveling, I was doing DLC, I was at E3, I was super super busy, and I wasn't even at home at my computer to get gameplay or do the testing, and I assumed that other commentators would do this and get the right information out there, but as I found out on stream, that was not true. Uh, as soon as I started using the VMP with a Varric site, I had a lot of people tell me it doesn't reduce recoil, it doesn't work with a foregrip, it's very bad, it's nerfed, it's an awful site, and that's not true. Let's take a look at the stats here. The new Varric 3 stats are as followed. On a generic weapon, you will get 0.5 less recoil per shot and 10% more center speed and the higher your center speed is the less your recoil is going to be so 10% more center speed is basically like 10% less recoil and you have a per shot multiplier now it used to be 0.15 so it's only one third as effective as it used to be on the less recoil per shot same center speed and uh, obviously much much weaker however the Varix 3 on all submachine guns light machine guns the HVK 30 and the Man of War or basically Basically all the guns on which it was fun to abuse now have 0.25 less recoil per shot and 10% center speed. So it's only half as effective as it is on a generic or default weapon. So not as awesome as it used to be, but it's still reducing recoil and increasing center speed while being a clear and easy to use optic. Other than being somewhat bulky and reducing your peripheral vision just a little bit, it's not so bad. The BOA 3 retains pretty much the exact same stats it had before at 10% center speed uh, increase on all guns, which is a 10% recoil reduction on all guns so I use BOA on some weapons as well and the thermal wasn't changed too much it has 0.1 less recoil per shot and 10% center speed on almost any weapon with the exception of the KN44 HPK 30 and Man of War it has a little bit less of that per shot recoil it seems like Treyarch was really worried about the KN the HPK 30 and the Man of War being completely abused with these sort of optics because they're already fairly accurate weapons or at least precise weapons so they're not as strong on these the second most most important takeaway from this in-depth episode is that the Varix can now stack with a foregrip. Previously, when you put on a foregrip, it overrode your Varix recoil reduction and made it significantly worse. Now you can stack it with a foregrip, and when stacked with a foregrip, it's almost as powerful as the old Varix sight glitch used to be. It's not quite that strong, but it is very good. It's much more noticeable in the case of the SMGs and some of the weapons that were made weaker with the Varix. When you stack the foregrip on there, it feels kind of like the old Varix sight, and it's very, very strong. So the Varix sight is still probably the overall best sight to use, but it's not as OP as it used to be, especially on weapons like the Vesper and the Mana War and some of the other ones, but it's still an excellent sight. I still use it on a lot of weapons, a lot of high recoil weapons, and if you struggle with recoil in this game like I do, even as much as I've played Call of Duty, I do struggle with recoil control, you just about can't beat this optical attachment, and if you hate the way it looks, the BOA sight is almost as good, so I would pretty much recommend it on any weapon that you feel needs a little bit less kick. Also, stack it with a foregrip, very effective that way too. Guys, that's all for this in-depth episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode was on eye dominance, and the next episode, I gotta keep secret for now. Drifter out.